the more you support my channel, the more I can support these artists. And that will be a great way to give feet or to give back to the community. So thank you for tuning in. 250. All right. It is the first day of September in 2024 down here in Fourth Ward Park in Atlanta, Georgia for ATL Hip Hop Day doing media. I got my media pass. Out here just catching the vibe, seeing what's going on. It's not the busiest, but it's probably a little busier than last year's. But I got a chance to spend more time here today um, than previously. It's really hard to be out in 90 degree weather. When the sun drops, there will be more people here at this event, but I also think that people in general will flock to this area because this is right up, right across the street from Ponce, and Ponce is a really busy place. And in fact, to be quite honest with you, I think we are going to take a visit. We're going to take a trip over to the other side to see what's going on over there. Hey man, I seen you at Invest Fest the other day. Oh so you yeah. Do your thing. And I also saw that you interview, uh, you didn't interview him, but you shouted out Chopper Fellas from oh, Buffalo. Yeah. Cause I'm from Buffalo. Oh wow. So I think it's just by fate that I ran into you right now. Hey, what's your name, good brother? Uh, my name is Sean. Sean? Yes, sir. Benjamin Sean. Devine. Welcome right. to Gemstone Dripping. I've ran into you a couple of different times, I'm man. I'm gonna say you do look familiar, yeah. good brother. Um, I actually, I seen you at Juneteenth when it was down in Olympic Park. You Ooh. had your setup down there. Oh, let me see. You've been a couple different places, but I just want to let the people see what you got today. You here on the, um, what, what is this called? What path is this called? Uh, we're right here on the belt line. On the belt line, that's right, that's right. Yeah. right. Beautiful pieces of jewelry. Come check us out, Jim Stone Dripping. We hand drop this luxury jewelry. Anyone need to register to vote? That's beautiful. Well, I appreciate it, good brother. Yeah, the good brother. Jason with Chopper Fellas. Yeah. He had got that, he got a custom piece. Uh-huh. That Brandenburg Amethyst. I had made a post about it on my Instagram. Word. Yeah, that's dope, man. That you reaching people that far, man. I'm sure you probably reaching people in other countries too. Yes, it just sir. hit home for me though, because that's my hometown. Oh man, that's love, man. So I definitely love to see Tim, that. Benny the Butcher. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have been blessing their jury for Benny. Word. He got a uh, a labradorite from me. I'll even show it to you. It's on okay. my Instagram. So okay. I gotta go through the archives. But yeah, man. You see anything that you like today? Because we also do the custom frames. Moose, if you mind letting him smell the one that you created today? Today, everybody in the game is ready. It's called Rajay. Name that for me. Okay. Okay. And Rajay means uh, Celestia. You want to be ready? Give your baby the vote. Tell me that name again. Rajay. Rajay? Yes, sir. Okay. My middle name. Okay. Word. All right. I'm wondering if I could at least let my audience know who you are so they could maybe donate to you or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's your name? Oh, my name is uh, Omar Hendricks, born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. You can find me at IG at Brother Omar ATL. Okay. How long you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this. I've been playing bass since 2005. So I don't know how many years that is. That might be what, 19 years? Yeah, almost 20 years. Yeah, yeah. So I've been, you know, playing uh, around town. Okay. Played at school. Play in two jazz groups right now. Uh, one of them is called PhD Jazz Band. The other one's called The Legends Tribute Plus. You can check us out on Facebook, The Legends Tribute Plus. Okay, y'all. So y'all have upcoming events. Ah, uh, we have some upcoming dates in October. I don't know that. I, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact dates okay. yet. But we got some things that we're gonna be doing in October. And is that here directly uh, in Atlanta? Yeah, local. Yeah, it's gonna Atlanta. be locally. Yeah. Okay. And you said you've been doing this about 20 years. You look about 20 yourself. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 31. You're 31, so okay. you've been doing it for the majority of your life then? Yeah, yeah. Okay, was it inspired by someone else or just uh, self -inspired? I would say I would say my father, my parents, is kind of runs in the family. Okay. So my father, he introduced me to jazz and yeah. old school R&B. He's a trumpet player himself. Okay. So uh, ever since then, uh, you know, I just kind of took it to a whole nother level, right. playing the bass guitar. I, 
play a little keyboard, but bass guitar is my main, you know, my main focus right now. Okay, man. Well, I'm gonna watch this footage back later, and hopefully, I'm gonna catch up with you so okay. I can come see you or something like that someday. All right, thank All you. All right, thank man. You. Good All luck. Right, peace, peace. So we hear about these beams right here. Okay. All right. So we actually got some art over here. We have someone who says that this is her art. So I guess we're gonna find out more. My name is Sean. Sean, nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Um, how did you get into doing art? Uh, I'm self-taught. I've been into arts and crafts since I was a kid. Okay. And I've just been building on top of that. So it's just been in me all my life. You said since you were a kid. So how many years have you been doing this? Uh, selling my artwork. Well, just for like, doing art in general, even for before like the sale. four years, but I've been doing art all my life. So. All year. How old are you? 29. You're 29? Yeah. Okay. And you said since a kid? Yeah. Okay. Are you from here? Uh, yes. All right. And was it something specific that inspired you or you just took a drawing in the art? I, I just always liked it. Okay. I always liked arts and crafts. And then I took an art class in high school and yeah. I was good at painting. So I just stuck with it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where can people find you? I see you got a uh, QR code, but what about oh, Instagram? Yeah, that's my Instagram. What's Pebbles got that work on Instagram. Pebbles got that work on YouTube. Okay. Um, all social media platforms. Pebbles got that work. All right. And out here on the belt line, is this the best place to find you or is there uh, a storefront? No, there's no storefront, but you can find me here. And on, if you want to find me, Instagram is the best place. Social. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'll let my audience know to check you out. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All I right. appreciate it. Appreciate so the dopest thing about the belt line is that you are always gonna run into somebody artistic, performing, drawing, singing, all kinds of arts and entertainment along the belt line. So this is one of my favorite places to go in Atlanta. And as you can see, we've already come across two different artists um, with different artistry, both very talented in their own respects. And I just hope that this helps shed light on, you know, the underground um, scene, art scene in Atlanta. There's so many facets of it here. So there's always a new artist that you can run into and discover and support. So the more you support my channel, the more I can support these artists. And that will be a great way to get feet or to give back to the community. So thank you for tuning in.